The financial woes that the nation's only electricity provider, the Belize Electricity Limited, has been experiencing, particularly over the past two years, has placed it in a precarious position in continuing to carry out that function. Marred by outstanding arrears with its main supplier, Comercial Federal Electrofidad of Mexico, BL stands a very real chance to be cut off from that source. This would put 70% of the country's consumers in direct vulnerability. Today, BEL's chief executive officer, Lin Young, sat down with Love News to explain the company's limited capacity. The prices for power from CFE, like um, last week, the prices were higher than what we were charging customers. For the last month or so, it has been sometimes close, sometimes higher. Um, and that's because of the oil price. The, their, their price to us is indexed to oil prices. Now, we had thought that we wouldn't have to take so much power from CFE because we, we had brought on the VACA project and the Belcogen project, but the Belcogen project hasn't been performing and uh, we've had a drought. The amount of money we've had to pay CFE is almost like double what we normally pay them. And so it's created a severe cash flow crunch in the company and we just can't meet all the bills. The problem we have is that we cannot get loans to try and you know borrow money to pay for these, these these bills until we can get things straightened out. We've had to stop using the gas turbine because the diesel from the gas turbine is so expensive, it's like 60 cents per kilowatt hour just for the diesel. And we are selling power to consumers at 44 cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah, if we run the gas turbine. But BEL did not land in this dire position overnight. The actions of the PUC has been such that the financial institutions are saying, no, they can't lend us any money until this thing is sorted out. Uh, basically, in their last rate review that they did, the PUC went back in time and reversed approvals that they had given. And so what we've been trying to explain to the PUC and to the government is that they have, if the, the court is saying that the PUC can do that legally, then the government will have to do something to make sure that that doesn't happen. They have to put something in place that when the PUC approves something, it's an approval that we can rely on. None of the officers authorized to give interviews at the Public Utilities Commission was available to field our questions. Robert Tillett with the Commission did tell us, however, that the PUC takes no fault for BEL's distress. Tillett said that the PUC can take measures that can push BEL's current position forward. Now that its borrowing and credit capacity is in the red, BEL is hoping that its sister company, the Belize Electricity Company Limited, BECOL, can bridge the gap. But even that probability is not as clear-cut, since BEL also owes BECOL a substantial amount. We, on the other hand, can only wait until so long because, as you are aware, we have loans to pay, we have our employees, um, we have equipment maintenance, um, tools we need to purchase. So um, we're working along with them and with the hope that um, this will be resolved pretty soon. Okay. But, uh, how long can you wait? You said you can wait, but for how long? Um, actually, we're in the process. We are dialoguing with BL as we speak okay. and I'm trying to resolve this issue because, as you're aware, during the dry season, that's our low production. Sure. It is when we produce less power but it's also when we get into our maintenance period and once we go into our maintenance period our expenses go up. It's difficult to put a time limit on it but um, we're optimistic about it. You know, okay. so. Because we've been funneling all our money to Mexico we have also fallen behind on Beacon and we owe them close to 12 million and they're saying they want payment now and we've also fallen behind on Belkogen, which is the bagasse plant from the sugar company, and they also need their money. With hydropower being the cheapest form of electricity available to BEL, Beacle sells electricity to the company at an average rate of 19 cents per kilowatt hour. But even if Beacle were prepared to bail its sister company out of the hot water in which it finds itself, the debacle is compounded by another dilemma. Here at the Moyehon hydroelectric plant, which is considered Beacol's distribution facility, the Makal River is unusually low. We just came out of a long drought. It has been extremely dry. And, um, you know, the rains will be a blessing. Okay, now let's say uh, there's a worst case scenario. BL cannot come up with the monies it owes CFE and we get cut off of their uh, national grid. Then, in terms of Beacol's production here at the three dams, 
can you sustain, can you provide the 70% that BEL would be depending on you for to supply this country? Well, the thing is, to, in terms of the resources, if we get the rains, then the plant will have the capacity and we can provide the, um, the energy. But with funds drying up in the cash registers of both companies, it is their hope that the onset of the rainy season will bring an abundance of water to enable them to keep the lights on. Marian Ali for Love News.